Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited because I'm starting my like fall slash spooky season content. Um, I'm actually filming after work today, which I never do, but if I don't film this video now, uh, Halloween will have come and gone in a flash. So I'm just going to do this today. Um, I'm wearing my skeleton earrings, if you couldn't tell. I got them at Michael's last year um, for like 40% off, so it was a good deal. But yeah, so I have things from like all over, pretty much. Uh, like Marshalls, HomeSense, Walmart. I don't even remember anymore, to be honest. So we're just gonna go through this so I can decorate my kitchen. But I'm just gonna like pull things out of the bag because it's not, I'm not really prepared for this. I'm trying to like uh, film before the sun goes down. So let's just get started. Um, so first I found these super cute baking cups. There's 50 in here. Um, I found these at HomeSense. Yes, I actually still have the price on them. So these were $6.99 for 50 baking cups. And I can't really tell because of the glare. So let me pull them out. But they're super cute. And I want to make like Hocus Pocus themed cupcakes, I'm thinking. If I can open this. So there's two kinds. And yeah, I just thought they were really cute. So there's this one with the little witch on them. And then these ones that say Hocus Pocus. So I thought they were so fun. And I wanna make um, like cupcake toppers, like little black cats I'm thinking, you know, for like Binks. I'm a Hocus Pocus fan, if you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to do that with these. And I should tell you guys, I got a Cricut maker. If you don't know what that is, it's going to change your life. <laughs> so you can cut like anything, paper, wood, I mean like thin, thin wood, metal, you can make crafts. So I've been making like little things for parties. So. When I said I was gonna make cake toppers, it just like made me think that I wanted to mention that because I'm gonna make them with my Cricut. And honestly, I could have made these with my Cricut, but I bought these like before I had a Cricut. So yeah, I'm really excited to use these. And I thought they were super cute. This next thing I got at Walmart, another Hocus Pocus. <laughs> Is this all gonna be Hocus Pocus? No, I don't think so this pumpkin that says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus i want to put this on my coffee cart and by coffee cart i mean like really old end table that we found in the house <laughs> um but yeah i've been decorating it i have like a tiered tray and everything so i thought this would be cute on there and did i leave yeah i th this says 9.98 but i I think I got it for a bit cheaper and they have these same things like pretty much the same at Michael's for like double the price so um, if you like these check Walmart before Michael's because even if like even with the 40% off whatever Michael's usually does this is like still cheaper I think and it's really cute so it's not as heavy as the ones at Michael's, but it looks the same, so it's not like you would tell, like, from looking at it, if you know what I mean. Oh, these I also got at HomeSense for $4.99, which, like, they're just napkins, so $5, whatever. But I couldn't not get them because of this pattern, leopard print pumpkins. That's, like, everything I love in one. <laughs> Um, and I'm excited I got these because I saw another, speaking of Cricut, I might actually talk about that a lot going forward, so I hope you're here for that, but yeah, I saw someone do a craft with napkins where they like mod 
mod podged a napkin into like a picture frame and it looked like a really like high-end sign that they put um, on their tier tray for decoration so I kind of want to do that with these but if I don't get around to that they're just cute anyway also for my coffee cart I just love the leopard print pumpkin trend right now this is also from home Sense. This I need to put out right away because it's really cute. Um, it's this like galvanized pumpkin candle holder thing. Um, do I have, this was only $7.99. See, I feel like the prices don't make sense at these stores because like $5.99 for napkins and like for $2 more, like a whole like hard metal decor. I don't know. Is that just me? But yeah, it's made to put a candle inside as you can see. Um, it would be good to put those like faux candles. Um, you know, those ones that light up. I have some of those. I don't know if it's going to fit, but that would be fun. If not, I'll just put like any candle inside that fits because it obviously it's open on top so you can put like a real candle in there as well. I just thought it was so cute. And there was another one, like a bigger one, that said like something about pumpkin patch. I almost got that one too, but I was like, okay, let's just get this little one because I actually don't even have that much room in this house for decor. Um, so I'm just trying to get little things that I can fit like here and there. Oh, this guy's from Walmart. Um, this Jack Skellington, what are they calling these? Light up pumpkin. Yeah, so this again for my tear tray, it lights up. You can't really see, but it's really cute. And there was like three different ones. I almost got all three, but I was like, no, just get one. This was $4.98. Yeah, I just think it's really cute. Also, I mean, have I I've said that about everything so far? <laughs> Ooh, this one I was really excited to find. Um, again, something I could probably just have made myself now that I have a Cricut, but um, it's just like a black candle, but obviously it's Halloween themed with like these skeleton hands. And it actually smells really good, which is why I actually got it, because I normally don't buy candles much anymore since I have a diffuser. Um, but yeah, this is the Sind Warm Tobacco Pipe. And I know for some people that might smell, that you might think that it would smell really bad, <laughs> like old cigarettes, but it's actually like amazing it has like a bit of sweetness to it i don't know and i really just love like the black candle and it actually is a black candle if i take this little thing off see looks like that uh, i also ordered the ColourPop hocus pocus coven collection is that what it's called and that's coming with the candle too but that candle says who lit the black flame candle on it and I just like had to have it so I hope that comes soon um, because the shipping has been really bad lately if not I, at least I have this one that's really nice and this is actually really heavy and like feels very high-end it was $12.99 at home since oh I also went to Dollarama because I was watching a video, I think it was called, I, the person's channel is called Chic on the Cheap. I'm pretty sure it was her. She does like amazing like DIY crafts and everything that she finds mostly at Dollarama. And she had mentioned this candle. Uh, <laughs> so... This is like the mini one, but she had the big one, but I couldn't find that one. This was $1.50. And let me just take it out because you might be like, what's so, sh what's so special about that? 
So I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see. So there's like this red wax inside, but what happens when you light it is that the wax like drips out of the eyes and it looks like a bleeding skull. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was cute because it's actually pretty morbid, but yeah, I just, when I saw it, I was like, oh, it's that candle she had, but a mini size. So. I'm gonna have to like put it on a plate or something because it drips actually quite a lot from what I saw but I just thought it was really cute for Halloween. Now I just have one more thing and I kind of saved the best for last because I know not everyone <laughs> is a Ray Dunn lover but I'm in Canada and we like never see the good Ray Dunn stuff like the mugs with the toppers on them like they're cute they're really cute stuff we just get like the leftovers i guess of what didn't sell in the states but i actually found a ray dunn mug at home Sense, and it's a halloween one ah <laughs> jeepers creepers is what it says if you couldn't see and yeah I was just really excited to find a Ray Dunn mug. I probably would have bought it no matter what it said, but I just thought that was really cute. Again, for my tear tray, I could put some, I don't know, some stuff in there <laughs> or a drink out of it. I actually have another Ray Dunn mug that I actually used to drink out of and it holds like so much coffee. So it's really good. But yeah, this was $6.99. And I'm just really excited that I found it. I know probably if you're watching this from the States, you're like, uh, we saw like 50 of those in the store today. Well, I'm lucky if I see one. I actually saw, there was like three of them in the store. <laughs> and the key is, um, if you're looking for Ray Dunn, you have to go on a weekday. I haven't figured out what day of the week they stock the shelves, but when I go on the weekends, the shelves are decimated like everywhere, but I went on a weekday this time and I found this. So that must be the trick to finding Ray Dunn. But yeah, I think that was it. I was going to include some makeup too, but I mean, I didn't really get much. I'm wearing, um, actually, I got the new Buxom full-on plumping lip cream in the shade Pumpkin Chai Latte. And I actually really love the color of this, so I'm excited that I got this. And this is the lip cream, so it ha it's like, it doesn't have sparkle in it, and it's more, like, has more color to it. So I really like it. That's one thing I got that I guess is, like, fall-themed. Um, I also got, oh, it's right here, because <laughs> I'm going to film a fall palette video, I guess, after this. Um, I also picked this up. This is the Huda, Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. This is actually the first Huda Obsessions palette that I've picked up because, I don't know, I never really felt drawn to any of the other ones and then when I did I would see like a bad review so um, this one just really caught m my eye and I saw uh, Patty Alonzo do a video on this and it looked amazing on her so I had to get it. <laughs> it looks like this. I just thought it'd be really nice for fall with like those like purple and gray tones and I don't really have any other palette with this color story so I'm excited to use this. And this is the packaging, if you haven't seen already. See how it changes? Yeah. Um, so I got this too. But yeah, other than that, I've just not really been buying that much makeup because I'm waiting for the VIB sale, which should be, I think, like the first week of November. So yeah. So I just got a few things, but I thought I'd mention that because it's kind of like, Themed, I guess. So, is that it? Yeah, I mean, I did get a few other things, but I couldn't wait and I already put them away and like decorated with them and everything. Oh, but I do have this little guy. 
this um, succulent. This is actually real. I got this at Walmart for, I took the sticker off, but I think it was like seven and something. I just thought it was really cute for Halloween decor. So I have that little guy too. And yeah, that's it. <laughs> I keep remembering things that I bought, but no, that's, that's enough. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Just a little something different. You know how I like to do like seasonal hauls every now and then. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.